Welcome to an exploration of another one of Denver's light rail stations where I bring the trains to you. And I'm kind of stealing from a VR uh, streaming channel, their line, but hey, it fits in this case. Anyways, today we're exploring a, a, a smaller station on the W line in Western Denver. And it might not do so much as volume count for as in passengers, but there's some very interesting things with this station that are worth noting. And unless you actually come to the station, you'd never see. And that's what I'm here to do. The station itself is kind of average uh, it's it's nicely built it's it sits right on literally in the middle of 13th Avenue which is relatively a local street so it gets a, a little bit of traffic it's a one-line station which is the W and there there is a bus line along Lamar no elevators, no massive pedestrian bridges, really not that many people, honestly. It's a quiet area. As far as food, well, there's an Arby's and what else did I write down here? Um, there's a Burger King. Ooh, I think I might have to go to the Burger King uh, for lunch here. It's like two o'clock, almost three o'clock in the afternoon and uh, We've been doing this for several hours, so it's time for old Denusa to get a lunch break in here. There's also some casual uh, dining places up there too. As far as rowdy people and rowdy sports fans, well, no, no rowdy sports fans. Uh, this is a community station um, just for you know, the local residents here. Moving onwards, there is a park here, and it's a nice park. Uh, it's called Mountain Air, and it's uh, two blocks east of here on the north side of 13th. It has some really nice sculptures. It's kind of like the last station, the two stations back that we did, uh, Garrison. Uh, Lamar is kind of similar to that one. Uh, but this one's also nice. It's got a bathroom. Is there anything unique? or unusual about this station. Um, well, I hate to say this is as common and kind of average as you can get. The last question I'm going to answer is art installations. I'm really kind of surprised how much art there is within a block of the station. So I'm going to pick up the camera and uh, walk around here with you and uh, I'm going to show you all the stuff that's here. I have to say, it's almost like a mini art gallery. It does come with its old RTD sponsored art installation. So you have these artifact uh, trees. You have this beautiful bureau right here on the side of this building. Have this. This. Now these are all murals that are on the electrical uh, utility boxes for RTD at the station here. All forms of art expression here. And then you have this mural also on a building that's like right across the street from the station here. Another side of these utility boxes. There's all sorts of artwork in this 
just this little little area and then you see this in the middle of the traffic circle one block north of the station we leave you with this some central american artwork that is strips of lattice in a fence it's just check out these beautiful designs